Now, Ujjwal Nikam has made it very clear Yakub Memon did not surrender. Intelligence agencies laid, laid a trap and he was brought back to India from a friendly country. That's one part of the story. Yakub Memon's only interview till date to a television organization was to the India Today group where he claims he is innocent that he wasn't aware of the conspiracy. He spoke to Madhu Trehan. Let's listen in. You left Bombay on March 11th for Dubai. Yes. How did you reach Pakistan? On 17th, we have boarded a PIA flight. For, it was to land at Dubai via Karachi. But we were escorted by a Pakistani agent at Karachi airport without any immigration and formality he was escorted out of the the sky the azam airport karachi airport by pakistani agent you mean whom asif is his name was he was a bald fellow he escorted us right from inside the airport to outside and your passports were they stamped no no formalities of any immigration or customs were Complete. A Pakistani official came, took you off the flight and yes. took you without any formalities right. through. Right. And your passports were given to him? But did you give him your Indian passport? Yes, he collected our Indian passport. The very first thing he did, he collected our Indian passport. He escorted us outside the airport then, without and any formality. You did not have your, Pakistan, uh, your Indian passport with you then? Yes, since then, after one year we received our Indian passports. Where were you taken then, by Asif? Uh, from there, from airport, we were taken to one Tofik Jaliawala's bungalow in Karachi. It is in Duraji colony. And you stayed there? Yeah, we stayed there. The whole family? Not whole family, because on 17th, myself, my wife, father, mother and uh, younger brothers had shifted there. By 20 or 21st, the rest of the members joined us at the same place in the bungalow. So which other places did you stay after that? Then after a few days, about eight days later, we were shifted to a new house of Tofik's Jaliawala. It was at Rufi Cottage, some Gulshan Iqbal area, Block 13D. We were shifted there. And who is this Tafik? Tofik is a friend of Tiger. Tiger is my elder brother. Mm -hmm. And they have certain business in Dubai. For the past three, four years, I don't know mm -hmm. exactly. He's a partner, a business partner of Tiger. What business is He's this? He's a Pakistani, based in Karachi and Dubai. What business was this? I think in the Karachi, he has construction business. Plus, he has a car dealer showroom. Tiger and had a construction business in Pakistan? No, no. Hmm. Tiger don't have any business in Pakistan. No, but you Tofik said he had a joint or. business in Dubai. With Tafik. Tofik Jaliawala and Tiger do business in Dubai. Not what in business is that? That may, it may be smuggling business because now I'm convinced about this, his activities. Smuggling what? Smuggling that I don't know. Precious. You're convinced about his activities? Yes, illegal activities. How are you convinced? Because later on I had very good contact with Tofik, you know. Mm -hmm. I was in. I but you had even better contact with your brother. No. With my brother, I don't have any contact. I hardly remember I've spoken one hour with him, you know, at a stretch in my life. You were living in the same house? Yes, we were living in the same house right from childhood. We were staying together. But he has his own life, own way of living. I was busy with my work, my studies, my way of life. I never interfered him in his work. And he never asked me what is income tax and what you are doing. So that way I was never close to him. But you obeyed him when he asked you to leave, did you? I didn't obey him actually mm. that time. When you left, can you see, give us the circumstances 14th, of when you left Bombay? See, I left Bombay on 11th March. In first week of March, Tiger told me that the things are not, uh, there's a lot of tension over here. And that time was such, you know after January riots especially. Mm. Who was, when you were in Pakistan, who was taking care of your finances? Tiger and Tofik. 
Tiger and Tofik were paying for everything yes. for you. How were you living? I mean, you were not earning anything? Not exactly. Uh, After not exactly. six months, we, uh, we have started earning. In what? We were doing construction business. Plus, younger brother Ayub was also engaged in export business of rice. But that is true. The support came from Tofik Jaliawala and Tiger. The so you took his support even yes, though yes. you had only spoken to him for one hour, you're saying, in your life? Yes. I took his support in Pakistan. I and a lot of support. In Pakistan, I took a lot of support. And you were in Bangkok from April 17th to 29th. Yes. Why did you go to Bangkok? Bangkok, we were taken to Bangkok on 17th April. Uh, those was the time, you know, I had realized what has happened. Before that, neither myself nor any member of the family had the slightest, you know, inkling about all these things. But when, after all reaching, is this bomb blast mm -hmm. and the conspiracy behind this. Mm -hmm. So you got to know about it in Bangkok? Not in Bangkok, mm -hmm. after reaching Karachi. I see. And when you went to Bangkok, who accompanied you? Uh, Bangkok, we... Uh, Captain Sauver, his name was, alias Osman. He was a government official. He a accompanied... Pakistani uh, government? Yes, a Pakistani government official. What was his name? He used to tell Osman, mm -hmm. but later I came to know that his name is Captain Sauver. Where did you stay in Bangkok? Bangkok, we were taken to a bungalow at some Pattaya Road. And then we were confined to a house. We didn't move anyway. They you used didn't to stay serve. in a hotel? On 16, some of the members had gone. They stayed in a hotel, Indra Regency. Mm -hmm. I went on 17, we joined them. And then we were taken to a bungalow at Pattaya Road. There we stayed for around up to 29th April. Who picked up your expenses in, uh, in, pa in Bangkok? I think these Pakistani officials. Because they used to come and talk to Tiger. You didn't ask? No, I didn't ask that time. When you came back to Pakistan, yes. what did you do for your accommodation? When we came back to Pakistan, that same fellow Asif, you know, bald-headed, mm -hmm. he took us out. At that time, the, we were traveling on Pakistani passport. So all the formalities were completed. And we were transported to a house at Defense Housing Authority. There already Ayub, his wife and father and mother were present because they didn't come with us to Bangkok since Reshma Babi was expecting that time. When you came back, was any land bought? Yes, after that Tofik and Tiger had arranged a plot of land for a new house at Karachi Development Scheme. How many, uh, what was the size of it? It was 1000 yards, a very spacious was there. How much did you pay for it? Around 60 lakhs rupees. 60 lakhs? Yes. And who paid for it? Tiger. Tiger and Tofik used to pay. All the funds was given by Tiger and Tofik. But you were helping uh, Tiger with his finances? No. Never. You were not his accountant? Never. You were not withdrawing money on his behalf? Never. In Bombay? Not in Pakistan also. Uh, then while you were in Pakistan, you set up a construction company with Tafik Siddiqui, his brother. Well, coming from Bangkok, you know, I had decided that uh, I'll go into detail of these matters and see how this has happened, this bomb blast has happened, who were the people behind it, and on whose backing all these things were done, and why we were dragged from Bombay to Dubai and from Dubai to Pakistan, saying that it is... Uh, danger of your life and all this, all sorts of thing. So I was interested in that. Minute. Yeah, okay. And then? So, in Pakistan, whatever I was doing, I was doing with a specific purpose. Because I didn't have any other alternative. I used to collect all the information for my purpose. And that was to know exactly who are the people behind these things and why we should suffer for that. I see. So you seem to have now, if we go back to how things happened, you went to 
uh, Dubai. You went to Pakistan. Yes. You seem to have been very comfortable in Pakistan. Very comfortable. You lived in a house which the construction alone was 1.16 crores. Yes. You were rehabilitated. Right? Yes. The yes. Pakistanis gave you identity cards. Yes. Gave you a school certificate. Definitely. Gave you a second passport. Yes. Why would Pakistan do this for you? Because I have concluded that Pakistani agents were involved in this bomb blast. Yes, but why would they do it for you? Because according to them, we were Tiger's family. And Tiger along with them, with some with their mutual consent, this work was done. So they were supporting Tiger. There are many Agri there are many criminals all over the world and there are many terrorists all over the world. Yes. But their families are not all taken care of by any finan financing uh, uh, government. But you have been. We were Why? supported only because they felt that we are supporting Tiger. And Tiger used to... So you must have shown some support to Tiger? Never. So how did they come to that conclusion? Because since he had asked them that my family should be brought here, so they thought that he is attached to our family. That so way why, he didn't you, us. why didn't you protest? That time the things were such, you know, terrible that there was no other alternative to just take mommy, daddy and younger brothers. Only life was the concern. We used to think about our life, that's all. It's very hard to believe that Tiger Mehmet, really with the kind of arsenals that were found in his, in his go-downs and every, everywhere else, that his family was uh, worrying about their lives. Yes, it is hard to believe right at the moment. Well, that's what we're I'm talking about. Confident. Nobody is going to believe. I'm that sure people... everybody will believe when all the facts are with the in front of the people. They'll definitely. Well, believe you have me. stated the facts. You've stated the facts that you went These with Pakistani agents from Dubai to Karachi. You were helped by Pakistani agents through. You were party to that. Yes, yes. You we were, were party... not party to that. Well, you were Pakistani agents. It were was just you the through. circumstances that we were behaving that way. You're not a child. You were taken as a yes, adult by Pakistani agents. Yes, but I was alone with agent. my family that time. If I had yes. been alone that time, mm. I would have never gone to Pakistan. I was with my father, I was with my mother, I was with my wife, I was with my young brothers, whom I have always cared for. In any case, everybody cares for their family. The point is that when you went along, you went along as an adult, a consenting adult. You went to Pakistan, took benefits from the Pakistani government, re-established yes, yourself. taking benefit is a different story. For some reason. Because I wanted to let them feel that now I am with them. That was the way, you know, I collected all the information. If at the moment, so what I'm credibility do you have that one minute you're with them, one minute you're with us, one minute you're no, with somebody else? Right from the day I have. Who's going in to Pakistan? believe you if today you're saying I wanted them to fully believe that today you could be doing this to to the Indian government? Never. I'm why not? An Indian. Why should I do with India? And why do you have two passports? Because they have made passport for me. They didn't po force it down your throat. You chose. Yes, you they chose to it. take no, two no, passports. No, 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 didn't they, you? they forced it down my throat. They I gave see. my passport and they forced me to Bangkok. <laughs> they forced the a family. passport on Yes, you. all the eight people that had escorted us with the guns, you know. I see. People are going From to find it very to hard to believe that you... It is, I know everything, that it is very hard at this stage, but everything people will accept. Because the facts are facts. Exactly. And I'm sure about so it. So let's look at the facts. You have two passports. Right? Which you say was forced down your throat. Your identity card was forced everything down your throat. Everything was forced down. Your school leaving certificate everything, was forced yes, down your throat. Everything was forced down and I accepted with only intention that they should feel now that I am not a danger to them. And that way I could when collect the When did you get to know about your brother's involvement in the bomb blast? Uh, on reaching Karachi, on, after I had a long discussion with Tiger that why you have called me here. So he later on explained me all these things. He said around now, what date was that? That was around 20th March, 20th? when we were staying at uh, Tofik's Jaliawala bungalow. I see. So it was about 10 days after the blast? Yes, 10 days after the blast. So at that time, 10 days after the blast, why didn't you come to India then? That was not possible that why time. Why not? It was not, not possible because... You right talked about your day, loyalty to your motherland. I, I, I Where was your loyalty when you went off with some other country's passport? Mm -hmm. With their taking their hosti hos hospitality, right. you have enjoyed a, a massive house and everything else that they've given you. Right. And you're saying that they forced all this luxury down your throat? Yes. You know, there are a lot of people who like that kind of luxury forced down their throat. Nobody is going to believe this story. It is highly implausible that you all this luxury is being forced down your throat and you're expected to be, people are expected to believe that you are innocent 
I'm not expecting anything from the people. I just want to put the facts to the people, let them decide. I'm not and the facts that are being put in front is that you have a dual identity. You've lived there since since March. This is the tip of the iceberg. Achha. Let all the facts come in front right. of the people you, and let the people one, decide. Let's go back to that first question. Why didn't you come to your motherland, as you call it, and report your brother if you are against, if you were against what he did? See, because right from that day, we were confined to houses. Around four or five guards. How could you run businesses with confined to houses? Yes, you were running was, a successful business. That was later on. And even that right, time... Then later on, why didn't you do it? This was the right time to come and have come. But you had a good... How long is it? How long is it since March 11th of 93? If, if it had taken me 10 years also, I would have waited for 10 years to do this thing. Well, you were enjoying a very good life while waiting for it. I was not enjoying. If I would have enjoyed this life, why should I come here now? Why should I come here? You've come here because you tell us. Why have you come here? Just to show the people who are behind this blast. And it is not Maiman family who is behind these things. You are expecting... And I know who are the people behind it. I know the exact addresses. And I know the Pakistani government involvement. That's what I want to say to the international community. You are saying that you had nothing to do with your brother at all? You spoke to him one hour, you saying, every day? Yes, not every day. Hmm. Hardly in my life I had spoken with him continuously for one hour. And you lived in the same house? Yes, we lived in the same You expect same people house. to believe that? Yes, I, what is the fact? People will believe. What is believable, people will believe. People are not going to believe See, false stories. No, this is not false story. You can ask the people who are staying, in, who are our neighbor. They will definitely tell you. Yes. Can we go back to this question? Yes. That when you got to know on March 17th yes. that your brother was involved on it yes. in the bomb blast. 20th March. 20th after March. After landing you got to know, in Karachi. Why did you not come back come back to India then? See, that was I told you the situation was such that we were confined to our houses. At you were times, confined to your you houses, allowed, but you were con you were you were also conducting businesses. You were meeting people socially. You were attending weddings. You were doing all kinds of no, things. No, I have never all... attended any so, wedding. Wedding. So where do you? Where See, do neither you say I have met any people. See, I'll tell you, I have never met any. Uh, I have never attended any wedding. Neither I have been uh, social with any of the f people over there in Pakistan. I was only visiting Tofik's family, and that was also a purpose in that to gather the information. And I was looking after this construction business, and. By that time also, I had a feeling that they were watching us. Why do you think Tiger did what he did? Tiger did because of poisoning from Pakistani government and January riots. Because in January riots, Muslims were singled out. Innocent people were... Can I ask you again, why did Tiger do what he did? I'm, t I'm telling the same thing. No, just tell me again. Tiger did the thing because... Why did Tiger... Why was Tiger involved in... What was his motivation? In Tiger's his, in, motivation to, was minute, to take just revenge. Why did Tiger Memon conspire in the bomb blast in Bombay? To avenge January riots. What about Pakistan's involvement? Pakistan want, did what they wanted. What did in they want? Taking what the did Pakistan of, want? See, Pakistan wants to create trouble in India and to do all those things which harms government of India and people of government, people of India, be it a Muslim or a Hindu, it is not their concern. They are just interested in creating trouble in India. They saw the situation in January riots that Muslims have a bit so of So they saw the situation with, with Memon, with, with Tiger? With Muslim community. No, but they, they, also, got, they got in touch with Tiger? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Did they get in touch with, with you? Sorry? Did they get in touch with you? Never. 